हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल एस्थेटिक नेचर टूडे द टॉपिक इज जमालपुर लोकोमोटिव वर्कशॉप इट इज़ द रेलवे वर्कशॉप स्टाब्लिश ऑन फेबर एट एटीन सिक्सटी टू एज द फर्स्ट फुली फ्लस्ड रेलवे वर्कशॉप फैसिलिटी इन इंडिया इट वॉज स्टार्टेड बाई द ईस्ट इंडियन रेलवे कंपनी एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ द सो कॉल्ड रेलवे एज इन इंडिया विच बिगैन इन एटीन फिफ्टी फोर अ लोकोमोटिव कैरियज एंड वैगन वर्कशॉप हैज बिन सेटअप इन हावड़ा टू पुट इन टू कमीशन इम्पोर्टेड rolling stock for the eastern indian railway and also to carry out repairs unfortunately this workshop was unsuccessful partially because of problems with procuring supplies and sourcing a lot of skilled labor with 8 years of its establishment in avra the workshop was closed and the jamalpur workshop was established at jamalpur the place which is shown in the video is inside the karkhana in the entrance which is also known as the buddha garden it is made by the wastage of the karkhana the laborers when the selection was made it was probably thought that the jamalpur would be on the purpose main line of the east indian company which was subsequently changed and was directed to delhi via rani ganj gaya mogul sarai alawat and kanpur initially jamalpur was an engine changing station and light repair was done in the running shed there the original headquarters of the locomotive department of east indian company was located at havra had a great drawback because it was too confined for extension as when needed At Avra, the original workshop was supposed to handle building of locomotive carriage and van. The place which is viewed in the video is the largest auditorium, which is made in the shape of an engine, which is a steam engine. Jamalpur Karkhana was the place where S C R A aspirants were trained and made officers, and this is the place which is viewed in the video is where they were given the training. But four years ago, central government removed the S C R A post and merged it. with the upsc examination as called as irms indian railway management services now we'll give a vital statics of jamalpur workshop the area of the jamalpur workshop is 574654 square meters the staff at present is 6000 in number which is the largest biggest and the number of machinery and plants are 1628 the power consumption is 7 mva and the annual turnover is 10.56 billion the water supply is 7.3 million liters per day which is used by the workshop let me give you a brief history of this jamalpur workshop jamalpur workshop enjoys the distinction of being the largest and the oldest locomotive repair workshop with the most diversified manufacturing activities on the indian railways at first the jamalpur workshops were mere, merely repairing locomotives and also assembling locomotives from parts salvaged from other or damaged locomotives by the turn of the 20th century they had progressed to producing their own locomotives in year 1899 ca 764 lady cousin was produced by the jamalpur workshop in 1893 the first railway founder in india was set up at jamalpur workshop the image which is viewed in the video is the sub model of the steam crane and the engine which is displayed in the museum of the karkhana next we will show you the punching machine which was used as a attendance purpose and this was the job card which was given to the employer or the laborer during the east indian company in 1893 the first railway foundry in india was set up at jamalpur workshop it also had a boiler workshop for repairing and building boilers a 5 mva captive power plant was also developed in the jamalpur workshop in 1870 it was equipped with a rolling mill of its own unfortunately it's not working at present in addition to various repairs of wagons coaches cranes and tower cars and locomotives jamalpur also undertakes repairs and production of permanent way fixation it also manufacture some tower cars such as mark 2 and mark 3 hand breakdown of cranes of 10 20 and 140 ton capacities beside various kinds of heavy duty lifting jack finally it also manufacture wheel sets of coaches and wagons jamalpur workshop was significant supplier of cast iron sleepers as well starting in 1961 it produced several rail cranes it also produced electric arc furnaces ticket printers the high capacity synchronized fitting jacks known as jamalpur jacks were also produced by the workshop 
The school attached to the Jamalpur workshop eventually became the IR Institute of Mechanical and Electrical Engineering. In the video, it is shown how a grain is developed in different stages and in different forms and how different labels do their work and test their outcomes as we will show in the coming video. Currently, with the gradual eclipse of steam traction on Indian railways, steam locomotive activities which has peaked to 600 standard units per month in 1962-1963 started declining in the late 60s and finally the steam activities came to a complete end in August 1992. The shop kept pace with both the technology change and the technology upgradation on Indian railways and diversified its activities to the overhauling and repair of diesel locomotive. Overhauling and repair of various types of vehicles. Manufacturing and overhauling of diesel hydraulic brake down cranes up to 140 ton capacity and manufacture and repair of various types of tower cars. Apart from the above activity, Chamalpu shop are also engaged in many other activities like periodical overhauling and repair of diesel locomotive, in which it was started in 18, 1982 and the workshop gauges full demand of Eastern Railway. The workshop also deals with special repair to accident involved locomotive and locomotive owned by the various public sector undertaking like NTPC, CPT, sale in the Eastern region. So far, 84 such locomotive from PSU have been repaired and generated cash inflow of 26 crore. Rebuilding and repair of Volkswagen is also one of the activities in which the Eastern Railways and thus limiting the usage of these wagons, it has felt necessary to introduce special type of repair to box wagons in between POH to make them earn revenue. This scheme yields result and Jamalpur shop gradually increased their production in 1955 to 1996. It also manufactured 20 T grain, which is shown in the video. The first four 20 T grains were manufactured in 1980 and with a mechanical control system. We also talked about the experience from different officers in the railways who were working in the Jamalpur workshop for more than 40 years. हर चीज का ज्ञान होना चाहिए जानकारी होना चाहिए कोई भी काम असंभव नहीं है हम लोग नौकरी करने आए हैं टेंशन लेकर के नहीं करना ठीक है टेंशन लेंगे तो फिर आप नौकरी नहीं कर पाएंगे क्योंकि अभी के हालात अभी और विकट परिस्थिति आने वाला है तो आप लोग टेंशन नहीं लीजिए एकदम जो भी चीज है हमको आठ घंटा रहना है काम करना है जाना है और क्या इस ढंग से करना है और व्यतीत करना है देखिएगा बहुत ईजी वे में सब कुछ चल जाएगा कट जाएगा हमने हमेशा कभी अपने आप को बहुत सारा बर्डन आया क्योंकि नया नया चीज़ को हमने फेस किया बहुत जगह पर और हमने सफलता भी मिलते चला गया जहाँ भी हमने गया जो भी चीज़ गया दो बार पिछड़ों में रह कर के आया वहाँ पर भी लोग हमारे बहुत अपने पन कम समय में अपना लगने लगे डी एम एस में तो अच्छा खासा दिन था ट्रेन शॉप में हमारा अच्छा खासा Jamalpur workshop is the only workshop in Indian Railways that has a 5 MDA captive powerhouse. The workshop has a number of firsts in India to its credit a few of which are the first to manufacture a steam locomotive and a locomotive boiler 216 of which were manufactured between 1899 and 1923. The first to have set up a rolling mill only, not only on the railways but probably in the country in 1870. The first to establish a railway foundry in the year 1893. The first to manufacture a rail train in the country with the Indian genius know-how in 1961. The first to manufacture high-capacity electric lifting jack and ticket printing, ticket chopping, ticket slitting and ticket counting machine. The first and only railway workshop to manufacture electric arc furnace of half-ton capacity in 1961. The first to establish a single equipment shop more popularly known as point and crossing and interlocking shop. The first and only to manufacture 140-ton diesel breakdown trains. It has taken various steps so that it does not affect the nature and our channel which only focused on the nature and its protecting the environment. So we have come to the end of the video. Do let us know in the comment section like how was the video and if you like the video please like, share 
comment and subscribe with your friends and families so that we can also bring up more videos which may be helpful for you and and you may or even get more knowledge by only just sitting in your home and just watching through my channel and subscribing it so at last thank you